Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius, August 13, 2023. To Diacente Agent cosmic wavelength is one of rest and ease. In fact, if you try firing on all cylinders and cranking along, things will ultimately fall through the cracks now or down the line. That is because our sweet moon, lovely Luna, is slumbering amongst the stars. This pattern is known as a void of course moon. This occurs every few days between when she leaves one zodiac sign and enters the next one. If she isn't having conversations with other planets, she chooses to enjoy her beauty sleep and hibernate once again. We, too, may feel this energy whenever it takes place. Do not miss work this morning. Accidentally oversleeping or arriving late to work might be inevitable while the moon is void of course. The lunar lull will not elicit any feelings of ambition or drive, so you could struggle to get in a flow this morning. Luckily, the lunar lull will not last forever since the moon will eventually enter its domicile, later today. Once the moon is in Cancer, you may feel more attuned to working on your passion projects to feel happier throughout the remainder of your workday. On its own, a friendly aspect between the sun in your work sector and Chiron in your income sector that begins today is an opportunity to boost your confidence on both fronts and also for healing. However, this is just the start of a deepening partnership that over the coming days will grow to include Venus, the planet of money as well. As well as a chance to boost your confidence on the income and job fronts, this can lay old doubts to rest. With so much favorable celestial energy right now, you are able to see something you couldn't see before. You have the power of insight and this is especially true in relationships with friends. The philosophy of, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, is quite applicable today. Treat others the way you would like to be treated and expect the same from yourself. In other words, don't forget to treat your body as though you were its guest. Exercise, eat well, and drink lots of water. Don't get discouraged, the difficult and even trying problems of the last few, uneven days are going to go away little by little. You will have to start over again and accelerate the tempo. You are going to progressively be more open towards others, frequent new places and maybe travel, who knows. If you haven't already done so, now would be a good time to go on vacation. If you still have some professional problems put them aside and get out, at least to go around the block. Just a day before the Sun and Venus are due to align in your work sector, the Sun forms a friendly aspect to Chiron in your income sector in what is the start of the perfect lead-up to next week's new moon. Once again, this is bringing things together on the income and job fronts but this time, with the Sun looking to the future while in retrograde motion, Chiron is looking to the past. As well as making this a good day for income and job matters, this is the start of something that between now and the end of next week will give you a better sense of where you have been and where you are going on both fronts. Just in time for the weekend, the moon returns to your romantic sector today. However, this is not just any weekend that you are moving into but the asteroid Juno, the queen of commitments last and with all planetary activity on the romantic front for the year about to run its course. As the moon will continue to return every four weeks, today's romantically charged lunar vibes are able to work with Juno to capture your heart's intentions and resolutions. Our eyes in the sky. While the current friendly connection between Mercury in the job sector and Jupiter in the income sector is fading, it's important to note that this is just the opening act. These two planets are set to align twice more before the end of the following month, indicating that this positive interaction was merely the first round. Moreover, another harmonious link is on the horizon, featuring Mars in the job sector and Uranus in the income sector next week. This impending conjunction provides a glimpse of the ongoing transformation in the realms of income and job prospects, with these shifts extending not just over weeks but months to come. As the weekend approaches, you'll have an opportunity to pause and process the insights gained from the recent favorable alignment between Mercury and Jupiter. This reflective period serves as a breather, 
allowing you to assimilate the messages before yet another interaction next week. This time, it's Mars and Uranus teaming up, infusing an element of surprise into the equation. Nevertheless, your previous experience has primed you for adapting to unforeseen circumstances. When confronted with misunderstandings or differing viewpoints, adopt a patient approach by engaging in thorough discussions with the involved parties. Be receptive to their perspectives, even if they differ from yours. Simultaneously, express your stance clearly, thus preventing potential mix-ups from escalating into convoluted conflicts. Ensuring clarity in communication simplifies what could otherwise turn into a convoluted and drawn-out ordeal. The Moon's position in Gemini today forms a challenging square aspect with Neptune retrograde. This cosmic alignment creates an atmosphere of heightened intensity, where conflicting forces tug us in various directions. Although your desire is to make progress in your life's journey, you might find yourself needing to retrace a couple of steps. This period could potentially dent egos, so it's wise to withhold any sense of triumph until situations are definitively resolved. Emotions surge strongly within you, likely fueling an excess of arguments and discussions. Maintaining a composed demeanor is crucial. Allow your feelings to flow naturally and refrain from expressing negativity in confrontational manners. Your self-assuredness and sociable nature position you to acquire extensive knowledge and tackle lingering issues, effectively comparing your mental prowess to that of your peers. To foster smoother interactions, ensure everyone involved comprehends the rules of engagement, preventing unnecessary conflicts. Should disputes persist, your honest and confident approach will prove instrumental in achieving resolution. Emotionally, the intensity of your feelings can be draining. It's advisable to regain your equilibrium through moments of introspection and relaxation. In your social sphere, some turbulence might be anticipated. You might sense discord with friends and family, possibly even engaging in disputes. A thoughtful self-assessment could reveal if you're placing undue demands on your loved ones. Consider scaling back your expectations and prioritize dialogue to resolve issues instead of pursuing unilateral paths. In summary, the Moon's placement in Gemini forms a challenging aspect with Neptune retrograde, infusing the day with intensity. Amidst this intensity, strive for balance as opposing forces vie for your attention. Exercise caution against prematurely celebrating victories, given potential setbacks. Handle emotions with grace, allowing them to run their course, and harness your confidence to navigate discussions. Embrace self-reflection to counter emotional exhaustion. While social turbulence might be encountered, opt for communication over contention, understanding that compromise fosters healthier relationships. By navigating this challenging period thoughtfully, you can emerge with greater clarity and harmony.